Hey, what's going on, guys? Today we're checking out another HG Kyokai Senki kit here. This is the Meles Goyo Custom, and emphasis on the custom as this is another one of uh, the obviously later releases in the line, which they seem to like really be leaning into the customizability of these in these kind of like lettuce, like said, kind of ladder releases. I feel like the line's probably coming to an end probably pretty soon, although it is still kind of continuing on here with uh, releases like this. But of course, they do also continue to come out with the weapon sets, so I figure this is a good time to also take. Take a look in this review uh, at a couple of different weapon sets. So we've got weapon set six and weapon set seven, which we'll be taking a look at in today's video as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's check out the main kit here first. As you can see there on the front, a couple of units with, uh, they look like kind of similar weaponry, but you can just see how the emphasis, like I said, is gonna really be on customizability here with these. As at a glance, I mean, they almost look like 30 minutes missions kits. I do really enjoy the designs of these. They are some pretty cool designs in this line. This line, which has had a lot of very interesting designs and it's a shame that it hasn't been more popular, but I think this is one that uh, I hope that a lot of you guys will check out as well, because it does certainly look pretty cool. That said, I do like the color scheme of this one as well. It's pretty awesome. And this is number 19 in the line. And then on the bottom of the box here, we have some information in Japanese and in English. Shots of the fully built and painted kit there, front and back. You can see just all those hard points, which I'm sure are gonna be emphasized some more here in a bit but it includes a handgun, a rifle, and this kind of arm pile right there, weapon. And yeah, there you can see, talking about all the different hard points you have around the kit for adding more weaponry onto there if you so choose. Around on the other side, again, just kind of, like I said, talking about customizing the kit with additional parts there. And then we've got a little bit about the introduction to, this is actually a Kyokai Senki kind of side story there, but you have that information in Japanese and in English. And let's go ahead and open up the box here, get to our contents inside. On the instruction manual, we've got the box right there at the top, some introduction text to the series in Japanese and in English, and then some nice illustrations of the mecha right there with some additional information illustration of the pilot and of the Eyeless there, Yamapi. Around here on the back side of the manual, some more information about some of the different features of the Goyo Custom. They're about the handgun, the arm rifle, the arm uh, pile, I should say, sorry, and then the rifle right there. And we have a marking guide here as well, it looks like. So maybe we've got a couple of markings included. Yep, a couple of them. And then the color guide is down there at the bottom, basically green, dark gray, off-white, and kind of the blue used for the camera parts. Here on the inside of the instruction manual, more about the customization options there alongside with our parts list. And the beginning of the construction is gonna be here on the color pages before we get to the inside of the manual where it's all gonna be there in black and white. Here's our included foil stickers for the kit, just basically for the visor and a couple of camera stickers there, probably just for the rifle. And then here is our marking stickers. This is gonna be our marking decals there. We've got a one and a two logos there, both in a little bit smaller and a little bit larger sizes that you can use on the kit. Getting into the runners then, runner A is kind of oddly shaped, but we've got three colors on here. Our kind of off-white, which is a very light gray, very slightly tannish color. It looks really nice with this darker green, especially and then a one clear blue part over there on the side. Runner B is going to be indicative here of our inner frame and joint mechanical parts type of color here, which is in a very dark gunmetal. Runner C, some more parts here in that dark green color. This is just from the HG Amaim 2 runner, so it's just kind of a standard runner that we've seen with a lot of the Amaim kits. Runner D3, some more parts here in that dark gunmetal. These are parts from the Byakuchi. Runner E here, some more parts in dark green. This runner labeled multi-joint frame, and you can see these additional parts added on here at the bottom of the runner over on that side. Runner F, also a part of the multi-joint frame, and this runner, again, as you can see, in dark gunmetal. And the same thing here for our last few runners. Runner G is the Amame 3 runner right there. Runner J is the only runner that's specifically labeled for the Meles Goyo. And then a runner K, lastly, is the HG Amame 4 runner right here with some additional kind of weapons, parts, and accessories on there, and that's it. And all right, for weapon set six here, I feel like we're going to probably see at least one of those runners that we just saw reproduced here for that arm pile right there. But as you can see, there's a few of the weapons highlighted on a few different HG kits. And over here, we can get a sense of what all exactly is going to be included. That arm pile, a kind of chainsaw weapon, an ax, a handgun. This one, I'm not exactly sure what that's meant to be, some sort of large club or something. And then a couple of different 
rifles. As usual, this is in a pretty thin box here and on the bottom, there's once again showing the contents of this set and then a few different photo examples of these parts being used by a few of the different, like I said, HG kits. You can use them with a lot of the different HG kits from this line or really kind of honestly with just about anything. On the other side, a little bit about customization there and a QR code for checking out some more about the story. And inside here, I think we can assume that everything's all gonna be yep, in one color, just basically a very dark gray, almost black kind of color there. For the instruction manual, you can see all of the contents there and just kind of where these contents can be used, for example. In this case with the Melee's Proto Goyo, so essentially like a different version of the kit that we're gonna be trying out here for today. There's our parts list. On the inside, some of the construction gonna be in color here for a couple of the parts. Some of the construction gonna be in black and white there on the inside. But as for the runners, we've got runner G1, which is the Amame 3 runner, which we did just see with the main kit. This has an additional part added on there for this kind of backpack connection piece. Runner K as well is another one that we just saw, but it was just this section. Now we have the addition of these parts over here on this side. And then runner L is an entirely unique runner here with a bunch of the different weapons parts on there, including our rifles and chainsaw parts, for example, on that runner. And that's it for this set. As for weapons at seven here, like I said, these really can be used with just about anything. But as you can see from the units that are featured here on the box art, at least, this is a set which can really be used with a lot of the different uh, units from the HG line here. Once again, at the top of the box here, you can see all of the different parts highlighted that are gonna be included with this set. And again, a very thin box here showing the contents of the set on the side, along with some more additional images showing some of the details of the weapons, for example, and then some of the combinations that you can do uh, by giving these weapons to a few of the different mecha from the series right there. On the other side, again, just about customization and the QR code for more information. And inside, gonna be pretty much the same, I think, in terms of what we have for the contents with this one. At the top of the instruction manual, once again, an image showing the different pieces that we're gonna be building here. And then at the bottom side, kind of showing where these pieces are gonna be going around on the kits, where they can go on the kits, for example, on the Brady Hound and the Melee's Kembu Zan there for an example. But on the other side, we've got our parts list. On the inside, details of the construction right there and a black and white on the inside of that. Our runners here are once again gonna be all in this very dark gunmetal, almost black kind of color. Here is runner I2 with some weapons parts there. Runner H is gonna have some of our heavier weapons with that big Gatling gun and big rocket launcher parts on here, for example. Runner G3 we have here once again, but it's basically just some different connection parts that we're gonna use and some additional kind of parts right there. And lastly, runner I1 for a few more weapons parts on here, including that sword part and that's it for this set all right let's check out what this stuff is going to look like when it's all built up all right guys here is the kit all built up very cool very fun i really do like the design of this one it's great to kind of come back to this series after not having built one of the melee designs here for a while i do love how different and unique the designs are and aside from the kit's design just being different and unique I mean, just the quality of them is so good as well. Just the, the build quality, overall, the engineering, the construction of the kits are just really, really nice. So it's always a joy to build these kits. I can't recommend them enough. Even if you weren't really into the anime, you never got into the anime, you never really got into the series kind of in any way, I would definitely recommend checking out uh, any of the kits at some point if you do get the opportunity because my experience so far with the series has just been generally they're just really nice kits, a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get into it here talking about our accessories and we'll take a look at the kit in a little bit more detail and then we'll check out those weapon sets as well. And for our accessories here, first of all, we've got some different hand options. So we have these very nicely detailed open hands like that, which do look very really cool. And then for both the left and the right side, we have two different types of holding hands. We have regular holding hands and then also trigger finger extended holding hands there as well. One of which I've got here on the assault rifle, which is a really cool design and has a couple of stickers on it there, one on the top and then one on each side there for a very nice look here for the assault rifle. And just on a quick note about the, sp the stickers, just because there's three stickers right there and there's one more that goes in behind the clear part there on the visor, which does make that look very good there for the face. And that's it for all of the stickers, which all work really quite nicely for your different cameras and stuff. And you'll notice I also did put one of the marking stickers here on the shoulder, which does look pretty okay. And for our other main weapon here, we've got the arm pile, which is just kind of going to connect onto the side of the arm using this standard three millimeter peg right there. So you could connect this onto all sorts of different mobile suits and 30 minutes missions and everything else too. And this does extend out there like that for some cool action that we can do with that. 
And then for good measure, we do also have a pistol weapon here included, which is very small and very interesting design here for this one as well. This is just a couple of pieces. And then we do also have the backpack, which I've left off at the moment, just so that you guys can see the back here, how this is going to look like normal, like the same as like the Melis Kenbu, I think, and the Byakuchi other ones all had a kind of similar back side here, but that's gonna be covered up once we attach this backpack onto there. And basically what this does is give you more attachment points here for attaching some different weapons and accessories onto there. Interestingly, not on the side of these parts, but on the top. And this can also move up and down here like this. Very similar to what we have here on the back skirt, which is also just basically like a platform for attaching different parts and things onto different weapons, storage. And that brings us nicely to the last accessory that we have, and it's basically just uh, connection parts here. So like these, for example, which can attach onto the back skirt like this and can work well for holding the pistol in there like so. Or we have this other connection piece here, which can also hold the pistol and just gives you just a straight peg where you could then plug this onto the side of the thigh, basically the side of the hip area there, something like that if you wanted to. And if you wanted to be really adventurous, hey, you could even plug it right here onto the front, something like that. Why not? Because then it's the easy access to grip that. And then sort of an option part, I guess, maybe, is here on the shoulders. You'll notice like right here on the back of the shoulders, the shoulders are actually symmetrical, but there is this one little part, which is basically just sort of like a little adapter piece that you can plug into either the front or the back if you want. I have it plugged into the back for now, although I don't really need it. Basically, that is a three millimeter hard point that you could use for plugging something onto, but because the hard point is kind of recessed in there, kind of inside this uh, circular detail. This adapter piece just basically brings the hard point out a little bit more so that it'd be easier to plug something in there if you wanted to plug an additional piece of armor or weaponry or something onto there, either the back or the front side of the shoulders, depending on how, wherever you want to use those little option parts. So lastly, these other weapon connection parts here can be plugged onto the backpack and basically give you this uh, articulated mechanical arm here that we've seen with a lot of these designs where you can plug different weapons, rifles or swords or something onto there. In this case, this can work well with our rifle for storing the rifle on the back side here, something like that. And obviously you're not gonna wanna keep that hand on there, but just for demonstration purposes, you guys can see what I mean, how you can store the rifle on the backpack, which is also very cool. And I would imagine this would also work here, though it is kind of a tight fit, just not really made to fit exactly in that space. It would fit there on like the top of the side skirt, kind of something like that, which I think also does look kind of cool actually, to be honest. But anyway, yes, the main point of this is that we have all these hard points all over the place on this design. Design. So it's going to be very highly customizable for adding all sorts of different stuff to here, whether it be additional weapons, additional armor or something. Now we don't have a lot of additional armor really available in this line as far as like the weapons parts and option sets and things like that. It's mostly option weapons, not necessarily additional armor pieces that you could use with these, which is kind of unfortunate. It would have been cool if maybe some of the weapon sets would have also included additional armor pieces, maybe some like reactive armor parts or something that you could plug onto there. But of course you can get parts like that, both from Bandai and also from like Kurbukia, the MSG line from Kurbukia has a lot of different option parts, weapons, armor pieces, and things that you could use with this, for example. But all right, let's try out a few poses here with this before we take a look at the weapon sets. Obviously, this is a really great kit in terms of just the articulation, the posability of this is something that I've talked about uh, a lot in the past reviews of the other kits in this line similar to this one. The articulation overall is really, really nice, and basically you can do anything that you could possibly want with this in terms of the posability of it. And they're really a lot of fun to pose as well too. Very easy to handle and very comfortable and also hold a pose really well also too. So you don't have to worry about any weight issues or loose joints or any kind of like rickety nature of the parts or joints or anything like that. So really nicely engineered, nicely articulated and the weapons that we have with this particular kit with this particular release, the rifle and the pile driver, for example, really cool weapons. Not really too into the pistol per se, but it's nice to have an additional weapon in there just as another option for you. So in terms of what you get, in the box here, I think you get a really nice kit and some really nice weapons included here as well. So very nice. All right, well, let's talk about weapon set six here. Now there is a couple of familiar things. For example, we have exactly the same arm pile that we have included with this main kit. So nothing different about that. But the cool thing that we can do now is with this kit, we could have one on each arm, which is definitely something I'd be interested in trying out. Then up next, we have the assault rifle. Now, as you'll notice, this is definitely different from the assault rifle that we had included with the main 
main kit. So this has a really cool design to this as well. The front handle doesn't actually slide on this track, but you do have a secondary handle there on the front. As you can see on the end of the barrel tip there, you have that nice kind of jagged barrel tip and overall just a really cool, very nicely detailed design here. The only issue might be is that the back end with this might not work with this kit just because the way that this works with some of the other kits in the line, for example, you can see that back end part kind of fits around this part of the forearm, whereas this forearm has a different design. But what it does have here is this part which actually folds down into there. So my thinking is that we will be able to Use this is just that we won't be able to use this part here on the bottom that this should fit into the hand and that part should fit into the forearm there and it's going to fit into there like that now i actually don't have the hand on there properly because it should be so that the uh, finger actually goes into the trigger there but you can see how the back end is going to work how it actually fits into the arm there like that which is pretty cool but for this particular kit then so that just means you won't be able to use this part which is like attached onto the bottom but you could absolutely still use this assault rifle, which is pretty cool. Now, aside from that, we do also have the sniper rifle, which also has a really nice design. The bipod on the front does move up and down there like that. Really cool design here for this one. And then our other ranged weapons, just going to be this simple pistol design here, which also has some really nice detail on that. Really cool design that looks very nice. And then of course our melee weaponry here being this giant ax, which is just a single piece. That one also really cool design. And then of course the chainsaw weapon, which is also really quite interesting. Very unique, certainly indeed a very unique weapon there. I do like that. And then the hydro jetpack, which for some reason I was thinking is a, a handheld like hammer sort of weapon. It's definitely not that. This is just gonna attach onto essentially the back skirt. This kind of uh, stabilizer here has a point of articulation and these uh, jetpacks can also be moved. And so this is just going to plug directly onto the back skirt there like that and looks pretty cool. And then lastly with this set, we have this uh, backpack kind of adapter piece here. Now for this particular kit, the Goyo Custom, we need to remove that backpack because this actually fits onto here uh, directly onto the back there like that and basically gives us the same kind of connection arms like this and then that basically just gives us the same kind of connection arms that we had with the Goyo there in its option parts and as for which of the weapons can actually be attached onto the backpack the assault rifle can and the chainsaw can here as well that said the sniper rifle and the handgun cannot be attached into there and as for the axe you also might think that this would be able to be attached onto there but it doesn't seem that it is able to attach into the backpack uh, holding part there, unfortunately. But with a little bit of modification, it would be very easy to just modify that part a little bit, cut it a little bit to be able to fit into there properly if you did want to use the, this uh, backpack part for holding on to the axe. But all right, let's go ahead and try out a few poses here with this stuff now. Obviously, we have a lot of really great weapon options with this set, so there's a lot of cool posing that you could do, adding as much or as little of these weapons onto the kit all at once as that you want. So the great thing about all the hard points and all the connection points around on this is that you can actually put a lot of weaponry on it if that is the kind of look that you're into. That said, normally I don't like to kind of overload any kind of mecha or mobile suit or anything with like too much weaponry. It's not really to my personal taste, but this is definitely one that you can load up with a lot of stuff and it still looks really, really cool just because of the, the design just really kind of seems to work, seems to fit quite well with this one. So definitely a really cool weapon set here with this one, just between the options that we have, a really nice variety between the assault rifle, the sniper rifle, the handgun, the ax, and the chainsaw, of course, super cool, and the pile driver as well. You just have such a nice range of weapon options included with this set, I gotta say. Definitely gotta be one of the best in the line so far. And you're certainly getting a lot of value out of this. Now, obviously you're not gonna be able to use all this stuff on like one kit, but if you have a few of these Kyokai Senki kits, or if you wanna use some of these parts on some of your Gunpla, for example, as I've talked about before, these weapons parts uh, can absolutely be used with your 144 scale Gunpla as well. I would imagine they would also work really work quite well with the HD Full Metal Panic kits also. If you guys happen to have any of those, I know they haven't been reprinted for a while, so it's very possible. They're not really easy to get your hands on these days, but but if you do have some of those full metal panic kits, I think some of these weapons uh, would actually work quite well with those kits as well. And then lastly, weapon set seven, we've got a whole bunch of stuff in here to go through. So let's start off with the larger. Here we've got the Gatling gun, which is a really cool design here. This piece is actually just a connection piece for storage, mounting this onto the backpack or wherever else you might want to store that. Now you could use this like so, or underhand grip like this, however you might want to use it. Really cool design. As you can see, we just have the one attachment point on there on the one side for actually storing this. 
And then next up, we have the Javelin, really cool rocket launcher here, quite large, and the handle does move forward and back on this, so you can get this in hand and be up over the shoulder. This one has hard points on both the left and the right side for storing this either onto the backpack or maybe even like the side of the arm, wherever you might want to store that. So also really nicely detailed there. And then we've also got another assault rifle here. Again, this one is different in design. This one will fit into the hand and also has this connection point here on the back for being able to plug into the side of the arm for some added stability there. Another really cool design for this one. We've also got the short bell rifle, which is going to be the same like the rifle that we've recently seen actually with the Aaron Rhino. Kit. So this is another weapon that is uh, recycled from a main kit, but it's nice to be able to have a second one of this. That said, you cannot like dual wield this. It's not going to work on both the left and the right side. It is asymmetrical, so it is only going to work on the right hand. That said, the flamethrower can be used on either the left or the right side. This flamethrower weapon also really cool. As you can see, connection points here on the left and the right side. This one, a really cool weapon that could also be used, I don't know, underhand like that if you wanted to or this grip like that, I guess, considering the trigger is there, it's really only gonna work that way. But again, really cool design for this one. And last of the weaponry, here we have a simple sword design, which is pretty nice as well. But then we do also have the guard units. Now these can be plugged on to like the shoulders or the sides of the hips. These are meant to be uh, thrusters, but also just kind of shield equipment as well. And you can see we have hard points for attaching multiple parts. You could even stack these up on there, something like that if you wanted to. Then we also have these thruster units, which have hard points on there. And you can plug these again onto the side of the hips, the side of the arms, the backpack, wherever you might want to. And we have these couple of additional connection pieces here, a couple of just little uh, small little male to male uh, peg connection pieces, and then these ones here, which can be useful for plugging these thrusters onto the backpack, for example. And the other thing that you can do with these is actually attach uh, multiple of these connection arms together to make a longer connection arm, something like this, which could be useful for giving you a little bit farther reach with this connection arm, which is very cool. So let's go ahead and finish up this review by taking a look at a few poses with the weapons from this weapon set. And again, some really, really nice options in this weapon set. It just makes me wish that Bendai would make more stuff like this, even for the Gumplicate. Now, as I said before, you can use these weapons with your gunplay. You can use these weapons with your 30 minutes missions, 30 minutes sisters. So even though these are branded for the Kyokai Senki HG series, you can really use these. Uh, you could use them with a lot of different stuff. Now, some of the weapons have like a quite specific like handle and grip mechanism. Like, for example, the, the short barrel rifle, how that fits into the hand then also plugs onto the side of the forearm. For example, that might not work on some of your different gunpla kits where you might have to like do some modifications in order to get that to work, you know, smoothly with some other different kit, but this weapon set as well, just a fantastic array of option parts and weapons that we have in there. So yeah, aside from it just being only weaponry, we do also have the thruster units and the guard units in there as well that you can make use of. So some really cool stuff in this weapon set. Let me know what you guys think about the main kit, the Goyo custom and the weapon sets. Let me know, leave your comment down in the comment section there below the video. Anxious to hear what you guys think about these weapon sets. They're pretty cool, I have to say. They give you a lot of really great stuff in the sets. So definitely worth picking up to have in your collection. You never know when you might be able to find a good use for some of these weapons when you're wanting to make a custom build or something. So really good stuff. Definitely thank you guys so much for checking out the video here today. If you want to check out some more of these kits and weapon sets and everything else from Bandai, you can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store down below the video there as always. And just thank you guys so much for all of your support. Hope you enjoyed the video today, taking a look at some cool stuff here from the HG Kokai Senki line. If you did, leave a like, make sure that you're subscribed. Really appreciate it, guys. Till next time, hope you all have a great day. See y'all later. Bye-bye.